Guys, it's a good day in craft beer. Oh, the best. It's not every day we review the same beer twice. It only happens a few times, but this is one of those days. Yeah, you got to do it because Hop Juju, it's a gold medal winning beer at the GABF mm -hmm. in the IPA category, which let's face it, one of the toughest, most, you know, most competitive ones there is. So we're excited to bring you the 2015 edition of Fatheads Hop Juju. Glub, 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 glub. Yeah, Corey, you know, you mentioned how it won a JBF Award, gold yeah. medal, 2013. Yeah. Ohio's been cranking them out lately. 2013 had Hop Juju. Last year had Columbus Brewing Company's Bodie or Bodie. We're just swimming in awesome IPA beer. Yeah, I know. And right up north, we have Michigan, and they have Hop Slam, which just came out. You can see our review of that right here. Uh, and so, I mean, it's just a good time of the year for IPAs as well. I want to see what this one can bring to the table. I want to see what this one can do that's a little bit different from the rest we've had. Let's start our noses in. Okay, let's do that. Just a great hop aroma. And I, I hate to use it as a very general term, but it has everything from the hops. It's got some bitterness, a little bit of like grapefruit and citrus. It's got some of that dank, resinous, like vegetal, uh, floral aromas too. I mean, it's got everything going on here. Juju is a good word for this beer. Yeah, I really have nothing to add to that. I mean, you really hit the nail on the head. It smells fantastic. It's got just an, enough hop kind of like kick in the nose yeah. that lets you know like, oh, it's a double IPA, but, yeah. it, but it also has sort of like a, a sweetness maybe from like the malt backbone that kind of adds to it. I think you nailed it. I mean, if you're a home brewer and you've ever used hops like whole leaf hops, you break it open, smell that lupulin. I mean, it is pure freshness. It's, it smells really fresh. And that's a really good thing to know. I didn't even like IPAs until I first brewed. And when yeah. the, the first time I brewed and I was able to smell the hops in, in the bag yeah. and then in the boil and then to see how it kind of turned out. Oh, I mean, yeah. it really turned me into a hop lover. And this does smell like brew day magic. Yeah. Corey, I, I'm feeling pretty lucky and I, I think we may have hit the jackpot here. I feel like oh. we got some some oh. good juju. Oh, I think we do. Uh, well, I think I'm, we do, do. I think we do. <laughs> so let's go ahead and find out. Let's take a sip. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. It is a big punch in the mouth. Caught of me hops, off guard. But not bitter. I mean, it, it is, but it's not like, like, ugh, bitter. It's like hop flavor just intensely. It's like if you took like hop oils and just dropped it on your tongue or something. I mean, it is very pungent. Yeah, you're right. There is no weird sort of like harsh bitterness. It's yeah. a real kind of like smooth wave of bitter, which I think is what you want in a really well crafted IPA. I mean, that's about mm -hmm. the. It's one of the hoppiest beers I've had <laughs> in a while. And I mean, freshness is is the key because it tastes fresh. It tastes like again, like you're eating wet hops. I mean, it's a very vegetal, grassy, um, almost like earthy, mossy kind of flavor too. But it kind of has that chivy, yeah, chiviness bit. to it too. Little oniony. I mean, it's got just a lot of those good, fresh, wet hop flavors that I, I'm really learning to love. I didn't really love them at the beginning of our journey. I'm, I'm learning to love them now. Grassy, I, yeah, grassy, <laughs> yeah. fresh, green, yeah. oniony, yeah, just fresh. Yeah, it, I mean, it tastes like, like springtime after the rain. Yeah, it really does. Like it's just like fresh life in this glass and it's really really good yeah i heard someone say one time like balance just means it has no flavor <laughs> that's not the case here this definitely has sweetness and it has big hop flavor it's the best of both worlds and i think they really play together well to the point where it makes it drinkable even though it's a very bold very big beer was this juju was this the magic you're looking for what do you think of the 2015 hop juju it's pretty darn good. In yeah. fact, I, I don't remember what I gave last year's, but I think that this has to be rated higher. I'm going to go like a solid A, 95, yeah. 96, 94, 96, somewhere in there. It's really, really good. I really don't know what else I'd ask for. It's really fresh. It's super aromatic. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. Yeah, I'm right there with you. I'm actually going to go a little higher. I'm going to go 96. But, uh, that dankness. And that herbal quality is just so different and so unique and, and, and just so magical. I mean, it's so, it's so juju. I mean, it's just really, really good. 96, all around great beer. It's a good time to be drinking IPAs. Yeah, definitely is a good time. I don't IPA know. season in full swing in the middle of winter. Gotta love it. Well, guys, I know that they're hiding these behind the shelves in a lot of places. <laughs> so if you see it, make sure to pick up 
a four pack of Hop Juju because it's going to be well worth your money. And until you do, always remember we're the Brewing Crew. We'll review. I brew for you. Cheers. Cheers. Quite I gotta tell you, I've been reading online a lot of these of, beer uh, forums, Facebook, tropical, Twitter. Yeah. Hop All of those people are saying that there's double crooked trees from Dark like Horse and Hop Slam from Bells. Yeah. There's a little bit of like Hop a, Juju um, from Fatheads that they're so overrated. Like yeah. I gotta know, if you think that there's a better double IPA yeah, out there, let us know again, in the comment section below. And don't you dare forget to go ahead and like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube. Share us with your friends. You give us that thumbs up. I don't think they're going to see the recipe. I don't think they really.